Coach Mariucci, uh, you're here on the Rich Eisen Show once again. How are you, Mooch? Good morning, Rich. Good to be on with you again. Appreciate it. Uh, before we get started, I have to ask, are you wearing a tie? Are you adhering to the Rich Eisen Show dress code right now? <laughs> no, I got some sweatsuits on. Oh, my gosh. Just, oh, just man. I, I, yeah. oh. Steve, I, I hate I hate to... I hate to bring you the, uh, the bad news. I've got a, I've got a, I can't start you in this segment. I've got to put you on the bench for one second. Yeah, do we just have for one, just for one minute? Or just, so no, just, yeah, just for one question. Uh, do we have, do we have uh, Coach Vermeil on the phone line? Coach, we do. You, Coach Vermeil, are you there? I am here. Okay, Coach, <laughs> Coach Vermeil. Um, <clears throat> Mooch showed up without a tie, and um, so I'm going to have to ask well, you the first question of this segment, if that's okay. Yeah, I, I tell you, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm upset. You know, he's normally been a standard setter all all his career, you know, and I've sort of looked up to him, but that's a real negative right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, Coach Ramil, who do you think is the best team in the National Football League so far through the first? Uh... New England Patriots. I think New England is. I think everybody feels that way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Dallas might not be too far behind. Mm -hmm. But in, and, and if the if the Patriots and the uh, Cowboys play one another, who do you think wins? God, you know, some, I'd have to spend some time to study them both. Mm -hmm. But right off that bat, I'd say Brady. Okay, <laughs> okay. There you go. Because he's also a Northern California guy just like you at VermeilWines.com. Right, Coach? Uh, no question. Steve knows we make good wine. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. In fact, I might just, after we hang up here, come on up here and, and have a little... No, no, no don't, don't hang up, Steve. Don't hang up, Steve. It's just a, it's just a, a one-question uh, uh, benching <laughs> that I give. Coach, oh, okay. Coach Vermeil, appreciate you calling in. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, say hi to Carol. All right, you do the same. You got it. There's okay. Dick Vermeil there. I'm sorry, Mooch. I, I hope it's not embarrassing. I just, you know, yeah, I've I got a strict bench like that. Now I got to go get back in the game and get fired up <laughs> and start over. Jeez, that's hard to do. What happened? What? I don't know. Have you? Was... Have you? Do, I mean, do you? What do you? <laughs> did you ever have a policy like this that was unbreakable? That from Steve Young all the way down to 53rd man. There was no way to move it. I, I didn't know it was about a tie. I thought, oh, okay, first I heard about it when I was we we're. I was just trying to get packed up and jump on the airplane, right? So I saw it at at the studio. It's like, Derek Anderson's in the game. What's the matter? And then they kept showing Cam's face on the TV. And I go, oh boy, he must have missed a meeting or something. You know, a kind of a a disciplinary kind of thing because he screwed up uh, somewhere on the trip. I had no idea it was about a dress code violation. But, I mean, even Rivera is saying apparently this morning that he knew it would be a feeding frenzy. Why, yeah. why do you think he did it? Walk me because through the mindset. When you, make a rule, when you make a rule to your team, you have to, you have to enforce it. You can't, and you can't say, okay, my star is, uh, you know, is violating the rule, but I'll let it go because my, he's my star. And then when the, uh, the linebacker or the left guard does something and you and you penalize them there's inconsistency there so he just had to he had to just do what he said he was going to do he had to use the rules and here's the consequences so let's go and so you now geez it was weird is it fair to d delve into it even more here steve by saying there's got to be something deeper that there's got to be like that why why would cam knowing this is a rule not do it and from what we're hearing on other reports that they gave him options to wear ties but he wasn't going to wear a tie around a, a turtleneck which means just let's get the guy a dress shirt here can we just get you know what i mean like just get him a dress yeah. shirt yeah. How, how, do, how do how do we get to the point where an mvp and the face of a team is is benched for a series or yeah. one play how do we get to this point yeah and you wonder it had they had they gone down and scored, you know, was it the whole drive? Was it uh, maybe longer than that? Uh, I don't know what the plan is. It kind of it kind of seems a little ticky tack, but you know, because you, when you have a sweater on like that, hey, Marshall didn't wear a tie when we went out on Thursday night football because he had a sweater I, on. I'll tell you right now, Mooch, for Kansas City on Thursday, I'm not going tie. You're going to wear thermals, I think, in, like long uh, underwear with the flap in the back. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> oh but, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know what? It, it, maybe there's something else, and and Ron probably will deny that, and he certainly won't share it with the world. Maybe there was. A, maybe this was uh, like a, the last straw. Come on, Cam, follow my rules, would you please? Steve, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we're guessing here. Steve Mariucci joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.